I think I found the Wombat! What is this supposed to be a reenactment of? Hey everyone, this is Six Unbox Josh, and today I will be talking about the game everyone has their minds on. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart has finally arrived. In creating Rift Apart, Insomniac has put a lot on the shoulders of their mascot heroes. This is the first game from the series since 2016's Ratchet and Clank, and the new entry in the series since 2013's Into the Nexus. On top of that, this is also the game being marketed as the big PS5 showcase. The game to define this generation and show what next generation is. But can Ratchet and Clank, heroes for almost 20 years, now carry the weight of that pressure? In today's review, we will go over the story, gameplay, graphics, performance, and features of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. 19 years ago in 2002, Insomniac Games released the original Ratchet and Clank a vastly different game from the Spyro the Dragon series they had created before. Insomniac's goal with Ratchet and Clank was to create a 3D platformer shooter hybrid. In creating Ratchet and Clank, Insomniac gave PlayStation two of their most popular mascots. Now here we stand in 2021 and our heroes are back at it again. The story in Rift Apart is perfect for veterans and newcomers alike. There are some story elements that take inspiration from past games such as the Dimensionator and some characters from the past games. However, Rift Apart doesn't leave its story reliant on information from those past games. In fact, Insomniac provides just the right amounts of past info for a newcomer to fully understand the story of Rift Apart. Without getting into spoilers, the general story of Rift Apart begins with Dr. Nefarious, a longtime Ratchet and Clank villain that steals the Dimensionator. After an encounter with our heroes, the Dimensionator is damaged beyond repair causing the Dimension itself to fall apart. Ratchet and Clank are tasked with finding a way to save the Dimensionator, however upon being pulled into a new dimension where Dr. Nefarious is now the Emperor, our heroes are split apart. The goal of our heroes is to find each other to save the Dimension and get home, however in Rift Apart our heroes meet a new ally named Rivet, a female Lombax who is Ratchet's dimensional counterpart in the new dimension. The story jumps between Ratchet and Rivet as you cross the galaxy to various different planets in your quest to save the Dimension. The story in Rift Apart is great. Once again, the voice acting in the game is perfect as all characters give their best to bring life into their performances. Another great thing that Insomniac has done with the story in Rift Apart is reworked some characters in past games, such as Mrs. Zircon who goes from a boss in Ratchet and Clank 2016 to a resistance ally and your main vendor in the game. There are also many great moments with new characters introduced and the story isn't afraid to get very personal with this main character. The game helps us explore Ratchet's thoughts on searching for the Lombaxes and his fears of what meeting his long lost species would bring. We also look deep into Rivet and the impact of living in a dimension ruled by Emperor Nefarious and being alone her whole life. There are other characters who have great arcs too, such as Glitch who is a computer tank Ratchet uses to hack, Computer Terminals who starts off as shy and doubtful of herself but evolves into being a confident badass as she shoots viruses with her tank. Clank serves as a great character to push Rivet through her trust issues but also deals with the responsibilities she has in the current state of the dimension. There is also another character who helps Ratchet through his thought process, who also carries a great story arc. However, for the sake of not spoiling the game, I won't go into details about this character. Overall, Insomniac has created a story that really imbues heart in its character. Of course, it wouldn't be a Ratchet and Clank game without having humor. The Rift Apart continues to deliver the trademark humor this franchise is known for. From the funny one-liners dropped by our heroes and Mr. Fungi, a drone turret weapon, to moments of physical humor such as Ratchet knocking on Nefarious in one hit after getting caught sneaking into his office, Insomniac knows how to deliver humor in an effective way. You two, these goons are useless! This is what I get for giving my assistant paid paternity! Quickly. Overall, the story of Rift Apart is great. It's strong enough to stand on its own without needing knowledge from the past games, has great humor, explores our heroes in a deep way, and shows a lot of heart. On top of that, the story also carries great pacing with many great set pieces that helps to keep the game constantly exciting. But of course, the Ratchet & Clank series is known most for its amazing gameplay, and that is a highlight of Rift Apart. Despite how great the story of Rift Apart is, the gameplay truly shines. Insomniac has done an amazing job of fine-tuning the already established gameplay loop of the series and added a few new features to really make the game feel amazing. One of the highlights of the game is the arsenal Ratchet and Rivet carry. Although there aren't as many weapons in Rift Apart as in the other games, the selection offered in Rift Apart is varied and each weapon does feel unique. 
from the burst pistol that becomes a full auto gun depending on how hard you pull the trigger, to the ricochet which shoots a pinball like object that bounces off enemies as you hit the trigger when the ball flashes on the screen. Each weapon feels unique and distinct from others. One thing that rifts apart thus different from other games is that experience for each weapon is now gained by dealing damage as opposed to defeating enemies. This is great because it allows for the weapons to level up much faster and rift apart than in other games. It also makes you try new weapons out sooner as you push to upgrade all your weapons but also have fun with it too. After playing the game, I do not have clear favorites, but rather each weapon seems to fulfill a specific purpose. I might use a pixelizer on crowds of low health enemies thanks to the spread, I'll use a burst pistol on enemies far away in the single shot mode, or I will use the enforcer on tougher enemies to quickly dispatch them. Each weapon feels great and fun to use, so constantly using different weapons is one of the best parts of Rift Apart. On top of the weapons, Rift Apart also introduces new traversal mechanics for more options while playing. Ratchet and Rivet can perform a Phantom Dash, which also allows them to dodge enemy attacks and be momentarily invincible while in the dash animation. In addition to dodging, the dash can be used to reach hard to reach platforms. Rift Apart also introduces wall running on dedicated platforms. Finally, the new traversal mechanic, Insomniac introduces Rifts. As the dimension is falling apart, you will find Rift Points in yellow. Throw your Rift Tether at them and the entire world will be pulled towards you at that point. In essence, teleporting you to a new spot. Now while Rift Apart doesn't feel as much as a platformer as it is a shooter, there are moments where all these traversal mechanics are linked together into exhilarating platform sections that are fun to get through. Of course, one of the biggest talking points of Rift Apart is the use of the SSD to load complete levels instantaneously. This is shown most in the pocket dimension levels, which are usually optional areas that you can access that are almost entirely different levels from the one you are currently in. By opening the rift, you can walk right into another level with no load time, no lag, nothing. These pocket dimensions usually have some form of platforming section with an award at the end. They easily stand as a highlight to the game not only for the tech on display, but also for their designs. While Rift Apart does introduce many new features and fine tunes the existing gameplay loop, there are some things that could be done better. For one, there isn't that much enemy variety. You will find that you are facing the same group of enemies constantly. One of the best parts of the original Ratchet and Clank in 2002 was each planet had its own enemy. In Rift Apart, most of the enemies fall within specific groups. In addition to this, the enemy AI is on the easier side. For the most part, the game isn't very difficult, however on higher difficulties there is some strategy required to get through some encounters. Despite this, the game is excellent in its gameplay. Of course, in addition to the platforming and gunplay of the game, Rift Apart continues the series tradition of having so many things to do. Exploration is rewarded with many collectibles to find. There are clank puzzles where you must complete a physics based puzzle to get versions of clank to make it to a goal. There is also the aforementioned glitch sections, which play as a unique tank battle where you are able to climb on walls and navigate towards viruses from different angles. Rift Apart also reintroduces the arena, an area where you can compete in different challenges for a reward. The challenges are typically defeating waves of enemies, but there are some that are based on racing. Rift Apart contains many things that keep the game fresh and exciting. On top of this, Rift Apart has extensive accessibility options to truly make it so that everyone can play this game in a suitable manner. Everything in Rift Apart helps make this one of the most fun games to play right now given the variety, but also how fine-tuned the combat is. One of the benefits of being a PS5 exclusive is that Insomniac does not have to pull any punches when it comes to the graphics or performance of Rift Apart. For years, many people have described Ratchet and Clank as looking like a Pixar movie. However, with Rift Apart, they have lived up to the comparison and created a game that looks like a Pixar movie. Insomniac has done a lot to make this game look amazing. There's so much detail on the fur on Ratchet and Rivet, it flows in the wind that moves the same way as you when you move in the game. When Ratchet or Rivet are in rain or get out of water, their fur clumps together to really show that they are wet. Their details are amazing and really helps make the image look realistic, despite being an animated character. On top of that, the ray tracing in the game is excellent. Almost every surface in the game has an amazing reflection. During cutscenes, when you look closely at Clank, you can see the reflection of the world around him. During the game, you can take a look at a puddle or a piece of glass for accurate reflections. The lighting and shadowing are amazing and really lead to that realistic look of the game and helps to create that Pixar quality content in game. The graphics aren't just great in the main characters and cutscenes, even the NPC characters all have amazing detail. Insomniac also harnesses the power of the PS5 to load huge levels with many details in them. 
Rift Apart also has amazing particle effects. Breaking crates in Rift Apart leaves amazingly detailed splinters on the floor. As bullets fly towards your character, they are all beautifully detailed. Finally, the particle effects are in full effect when you fire your weapon, and see a different bullet for each weapon that is equally as detailed as the rest of the game. All these factors come together to create a beautiful looking game. In some cases, putting so much effort into graphics can result in some drawbacks in performance. This is not the case for Rift Apart. There are three modes you can play in Rift Apart. You have the Fidelity mode, which is 30 frames per second and outputs in 4K with ray tracing. There is Performance mode that output in 60 frames per second, but lower resolution. Finally, you have Performance RT mode, which is a combination of both modes, offering 60 frames per second and ray tracing while lowering the resolution. I chose the Fidelity mode for my first playthrough in order to take in the full graphical power of the game, and use Performance RT mode for my following playthroughs in Challenge mode. Whichever mode you choose to play in Ratchet & Clank, you will see almost no issues. The frame rate never drops, there are no texture pop-ins, the game performs amazingly with almost no issues at all. I did have some cases where Ratchet or Rivet would get caught into some tight spots in the map. There have been a few moments where enemies seem to have gotten stuck while traversing the map. However, these situations are so minor and rarely occurred and never impacted the immersion into the game. All in all, Ratchet & Clank played scot-free. With Rift Apart being a PS5 exclusive, it stands to reason that this game will make full use of everything that the PS5 has to offer, as it is not being held back by running on the PS4. Insomniac took this idea and ran with it. Rift Apart has incorporated almost every feature the PS5 really has to offer, and this experience can only happen on this console, and acts as a wonderful look at what the future has in store. To begin, haptic feedback is on full display here. Much like Astro's Playroom, walking on different surfaces results in different haptic vibration patterns. While walking on the metal streets of Nefarious City, you can feel the clanking as you walk, but when you are walking on grass or dirt, it's more muffled as you step on the cushioned ground. When you fire a weapon, the control vibrates differently based on which weapon you're using. Haptics are used to give you spatial awareness when you get hit by enemies. But on top of haptics, Insomniac also uses the controller speaker to further increase the immersion. When walking in Nefarious City, you can hear the clanking in the speaker timed with the haptics. When you switch weapons, you hear a distinct sound from the controller that helps indicate which weapon you have selected. Sometimes you can even hear details from the plan you were on, like wildlife through the controller. Insomniac also took those crazy weapons that they're known for in the Ratchet and Clank franchise and fully utilized the adaptive triggers. For all grenade or throwable weapons, pulling the trigger all the way will be a blind fire mode, but holding down the trigger will show an arc where you can precisely aim where you want the bomb to go. For other weapons, pulling the trigger halfway will cause a different firing mode from pulling the trigger all the way. Each time you fire a weapon, the trigger also vibrates. Everything works together to show the full capabilities of the DualSense controller. It all works together to truly immerse the player. On top of this, Rift Apart also makes great use of 3D audio to once again immerse the player. There is a section early in the game where the player is asked to follow the music to their next destination, and with the use of 3D audio, you can actually follow it as it gets louder and provides you a spatial awareness as you proceed down the path. Finally, the PS5's SSD is on full display in Rift Apart. To begin, there are virtually no loading screens at all. The game transitions seamlessly from gameplay to cutscenes with no slowdown or drop frame rates. There are some levels where hitting a crystal will load a completely different level in a blink of an eye. These two levels are almost completely different with different physics environments, NPCs, etc. Despite this, you have an almost instantaneous transitioning between levels, just by striking the crystal. Insomniac uses the SSD to load pocket dimensions and levels where you can walk into a completely different level with again no load time at all. On top of that, in some battles or races, you actually move through rifts in different levels with no sign of loading. Everything is done immediately. Altogether, Insomniac has used every feature of the PS5 to create a game that is not imaginable in previous generations. This is an example of what is to come and what a studio can truly do with what the PS5 hardware permits. In conclusion, our heroes Ratchet and Clank once again rise to the occasion to prove again why they are one of the longest running mascots for PlayStation. Insomniac not only provides us with another great story in Ratchet and Clank franchise, they have also provided one of the greatest playing games ever, one of the most beautiful games ever, and have offered the PS5 showcase everyone is looking for. 
It is wonderful to see the full amount of care and dedication Somniac still has for this now 19 year old character. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart offers an amazing experience to anyone who plays it. Whether new or old to the franchise, this game truly immerses you in the game. Not only with the tech on display or the features of the DualSense controller, but also has a story and characters that define this franchise. It is wonderful to see our heroes again after so many years since their last adventure and I look forward to what is in store in our hero's future. If you have a PlayStation 5, you owe it to yourself to play this game. It is a true indication of what is to come this generation and offers an amazing fun experience that can't be experienced anywhere else right now. After 19 years, Ratchet & Clank continues to be the game that defines Sony consoles and cements them as one of the greatest video games in the franchises of all time. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps our channel a lot. If you have a friend that's been trying to get Ratchet & Clank but you have no idea what to tell them, feel free to send them this video. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing day.